gathering business cards over here and head there. So don't miss to drop your business card because I have a couple of giveaways. So later on, okay? I also handing out this flyer, which gives you an overview over the line and the pattern. And on the back side, you will notice that I have also a new book out. It's called Centric Inspired. Um, the school house from this book has already been in the morning. But if you want to stop by at my booth and get some book plates, uh, which I sign, so you can sell autographed books, then come uh, my booth is at a designer, Moda, Moda Designer Studio, it's 10 to 9. Okay, let's start. So first I wanted to introduce you to the fabrics themselves. I called them fragile because the style I designed the patterns is very thin lined and graphic it's a little bit fragile, so I thought this is a good name for it. Um, the color scheme is white and black, and it is a light gray, and then the medium gray, and then a wonderful saffron yellow. I love this very much. So this combination makes for kind of Scandinavian style, if you are familiar with that. I will introduce you to the single patterns. This uh, up here is a floral one. Then we have old dots. Then we have a blender, which goes with many collections. A letter print, it's from a telephone book and it's called Call Me. <laughs> Right. Again the dots, floral, and this one is called Almost Plus because it uh, shows fragments of a plus sign. I was inspired for this one by a hand quilted quilt and it was that the fabric or the it was so three-dimensional that you couldn't see all the stitches. So you could all only see part of the stitches, so it inspired me for that curl, for that uh, fabric. And this one is called Net of Dots. So these are the graphic fine-lined patterns. And now uh, to the quilts. Do you need my hand or? No. You are large. Okay, this one, oh. <laughs> is, is it not a compliment in, in? Tall. I got tall. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say giant or. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm allowed to do so things. So I'm a shop owner, as I mentioned before, I'm a shop owner my own, and I don't want to um, have a lot of work with kitting a quilt. So I mostly do something very primitive or simple. This one makes use of one charm pack, that's for the middle, and you can do our glasses of it. And then I uh, added a little bit orange and turquoise as an accent. This is a solid, everyone has a solid in the shop. And then only the black and the white fabric for the upper and the lower border. And the quilt is called contrasting. Okay. The next one is an easy to do beginner quilt. Um, what I did is I have uh, five inch squares from background fabric and then I used five mini charm packs and then I made a diagonal cut in the mini charms and had it as a tip of each square and sometimes I just turn the block around so this is the usual direction of the block here but if I turn it around you get a larger triangle just just the trick of it so everyone can do that and it's really easy to kit This 
verb is called plus, it's simple. Because it's a plus sign and it's a simple to sew quilt, um, I made use of all different um, patterns in the yellow range. So the background is um, like you would say with low volumes, I would say it's yellow volumes, or what do you say here? <laughs> and then the pluses are all from the white fabrics. And I like to leave some of the blocks blank, and I like to exchange some of the pluses in another color, so to add more interest to the quilt. So the last one is a flying geese block, and since it goes in every direction, it's called twisted geese. And this is a very popular quilt pattern. It's sold so often so far. Um, I would say this is the best seller from the series. It also uses the no waste flying geese technique. It means I have a layer cake. No. <laughs> I have in the beginning a layer cake from my fabric line and then I, do you, do you know about the no waste flying geese technique? So if not, there are lots of tutorials out in the YouTube channels and I think that makes a great quilt for a class, teaching that technique. And you see a lot of textured fabrics in between which are not from this line. These are from my former line, Modern Backgrounds Paper, which sold so well that they are now stocked as basics. Okay, so these are the fabrics and the quilts. Do you have any questions? No? So I think um, I have four patterns for free, and I have a couple of mini charms. I will throw them. <laughs> I'm not a good thrower. <laughs> oh, you should have come to the first row. <laughs> Next, I will pick four business cards from my. My assistant can do that for me, so I'm not. We should add with that line. So this is Quilts by, by Natalie Jean. Woo so you get the first one and this is contrasting. Thank you. Oh, on? The next one, white and light goes to This is a nice <laughs> press chart. That's very individual. Yeah. Brenda Lim. Yay! <laughs> the next one is plus it's simple and it goes to Golden much. State Yay! Quilting. <laughs> Thank you too. And uh, Twisted Ease goes to Sherry Noel.